Good morning guys and welcome to weekly vlog number 30. It is Monday morning right now. It just it's just about 9:30 a.m. and I've already been so productive today. I like hopped out of bed at 7 and got some work done on the computer and then I spent some time reading my Bible and then I went to the post office to mail out like 30 something Etsy orders that I packaged up last night. Then I went over to Walmart to pick up my groceries for the week, which I will show you in just a minute here, do a little grocery haul. So this week is already off to a good start. Oh, <laughs> Marco Polo is on, one second. All right, so here's this week's grocery haul. I have some ground beef and chicken here, some Fritos because we are making chili later this week, some Mexican cheese, heavy whipping cream for a recipe I'm making, um, some butter, some cheddar cheese, some mozzarella pearls for a really delicious salad we're gonna have, um, spring mix, for these go together for a salad, parsley, some spinach, an onion, avocados, some eggs, a green pepper and some red peppers. These were supposed to be multicolored but they were out so they just gave me three red but that's fine. Um, some zucchini, we're having that tonight. Some cherry tomatoes, um, basil, green onions for the chili, um, a bunch of canned goods for a couple different things we're making this week, Italian dressing for a recipe, vegetable broth for a recipe, and some honey because we are out and I like to put honey in my tea. So that is this week's little grocery haul. I'm going to go ahead and put it away now. All right, I am sitting down to work on P.O. Box mail. This basket is my P.O. Box mail that I have. I have quite a few, probably about 20 or so letters that I need to respond to. So I'm gonna work on making some progress on that this morning. And because I got up so early and got so much done that I have some time, which is great. And then after that, I need to go to Riley's studio to do some things for Etsy. And um, I'd like to get some laundry done as well, but this is what I'm gonna work on for maybe like an hour, just see what I can get done in an hour. All right, it is much later now. It's 5.17 as you can see. Hello. And I am working on dinner. So I have Italian chicken baking in the oven and these are these delicious baked Parmesan zucchini sticks. I shared these in a recent blog post. The blog post is called Five Spring and Summer Recipes We Love. I will link that above if you wanna go ahead and check that blog post out. It has lots of good dinner ideas for the warm weather. But these are gonna go into the oven in another five or 10 minutes. And then I am drinking one of these kombuchas that I love so much. I've tried now the Dr. Pepper, the root beer, and now the cola. All three of them are great. And they really do taste like whichever soda they're supposed to taste like. Obviously, since they don't have, you know, 130 grams of sugar. <laughs> Just kidding, but, you know, kind of. They don't, they're not quite the exact same, but they taste the same, which is, yeah, anyway, it works for me. It's been cure cutting my soda cravings way back, and I haven't had any soda in weeks and weeks, so it's it's been a good thing. Anyway, these are going to go in the oven soon, and I'll show you dinner when we're ready to eat it. I also have <clears throat> a stack of letters that I was working on today. This is about a little more than a quarter of the way finished um, with responding, but I like to make sure I respond to each one thoughtfully so it takes me some time, but these will go out in the mail tomorrow. So if your letter from me was postmarked April 17th, which is tomorrow, then yours was in this pile. I totally forgot to show y'all dinner. We just wrapped it up, but here's what the zucchini looks like when it's out of the oven. It's so good. And we served it with rice and some baked chicken. It was really good. It is 8.13 a.m. And I am sitting and waiting for the train to go. I'm heading over to my friend Jenny's house this morning to help her with her new business, the Eucalyptus Room, which I shared in last week's vlog. And I'm just stuck here. This takes usually 10 minutes. It's so annoying. So here we are just waiting for the train <laughs> to pass. Uh, once this train passes, my day can begin. Look at it, it's huge. It's already been going for like five minutes. So that's what I'm up to this morning. What are you up to this morning? 
I'm up here at Riley's studio working on today's print run. So I just sorted these and then he is about a quarter of the way through printing. So some of them have already been done, but we have a good amount today. So I am happy to be getting them finished. Hey guys, it is like 5.30 now. It's been, it's been a day. I was up pretty early and out and working with Jenny and then I've been doing Etsy stuff all day long. I've been up at the shop for a few hours. I came back home, then I went back up to the shop for a few more. It's just been a lot of Etsy. And then I just filmed a YouTube video which is live by the time this video goes up, so I will link it above, but it is an announcement that we are going on a Disney cruise next month. We're so excited, we are so excited. Clearly couldn't be bothered to do my hair, so I just threw it up in a messy bun and thought, that's what we're doing today. And I am now sitting down uploading that video, printing out Etsy shipping labels that I need to sort tonight and do tonight, and yeah, so it's been a good productive day. I am tired. When I wake up at like seven and just start going all day, but now it's five o'clock, I'm, I'm done. But I'm not actually done, because I still have another four hours of work probably, so we're just gonna drink some lemon water and move forward. <laughs> Good morning, it is Wednesday, April 18th. It's not the morning, it's almost 1 p.m. I'm sitting on the floor packaging Etsy orders. I have packaged 28 so far and I am not finished for today. Uh, I'm getting a little tired of packaging but I'm so grateful for the business. So it's been a, just a really crazy Etsy week. Um, I really haven't gotten to film much of anything on Monday or Tuesday and today half the day is gone and I've just been updating listings, answering customers, you know, sorting orders, printing orders. I've already been up to the studio once. I'm gonna go up again this afternoon. It's been a little, a little bit crazy. It's all good though, like it's all good. It's just a little crazy. So that's what's going on right now. I'm just sitting here getting this done. Our internet just went out, um, which is incredibly frustrating. It's happened like one or two other times, so it doesn't happen that often, but it, I can't get any work done without the internet. So it's not that fun. I'm just waiting for it to go up because I have my last batch of orders that I want to sort and package and ship out today sitting here and I can't print the shipping labels until the internet comes back up. So I keep trying to get it to reconnect and it just won't. So that's where I am right now. So I'll check in with you guys later. Hopefully this afternoon um, things will slow down a little bit and I can we can talk about something more fun than this, but <laughs> this is where I am right now. I just finished eating lunch, which was leftover fajitas, and I just heated up. This I got yesterday, but I didn't finish it, which is kind of funny because it's only a tall, which is a Starbucks small, but um, it is a latte with coconut milk and stevia, and it is delicious. I talked about getting lattes or just coffee drinks with stevia in my February no, I think in my March favorites. Um, I've just been really working on cutting back on my sugar intake, and this is super, super yummy. And the coconut milk, if, you, if you're like me and you have a sweet tooth, then get it with the coconut milk because it's, it's coconut milk is naturally sweet, and then when you add just a packet of stevia to it, it tastes just exactly like if you had cane sugar in it. I love it. It's super yummy. In other news, I finally ran out of those free and clear dryer sheets that I was using and I was able to get these dryer balls. So if you are unfamiliar, I make my own laundry detergent and fabric softener. I will put a link to the blog post with those recipes above if you want to go check it out. And in that blog post, which I published a couple months ago, I explained that I was using like eco-friendly, fragrance-free, whatever, whatever, dryer sheets but that I ultimately wanted to get the dryer balls but I was going to use up my sheets first and so I I have one more left in there and so I ordered these off of Amazon a couple of days ago I will leave a link below and I will use them for the first time today or tomorrow and let you know what I think about them but they got really good reviews there's six of them in here two four and then these are the other two and um, I'm gonna use some essential oils on them so I know some people use like orange some people use lavender or purification citrus fresh a variety of different oils to scent their laundry with a non-toxic scent so I'm gonna give that a try I will definitely let you know about how 
they go, what I think about them, but I'm really looking forward to finally being able to switch over because I finally ran out of the dryer sheet. Hey guys, it's about three o'clock now and I finally, the internet went back on. I was able to finish packaging my orders. It's like literally 35 orders that I packaged today. Craziness! I'm holding Charlie. Charlie, you say hi. You say hello. Gosh, after Charlie got attacked last Friday, which I explained in my last weekly vlog, number 29, I'm smiling about it, I'm kind of talking lighthearted now. Truly one of the scariest moments of my life. I just have been like carrying him around. Like I just want him to be near me all the time. It was so scary. I'm so, so, so glad he's okay. We took him on a long walk last night and he's completely normal and back to himself and praise God, because that was horrifying. Anyway, I'm gonna head out to the post office, go back over to Riley's studio to do another round of orders. And um, yeah, this is just a very, very Etsy heavy week, which isn't super fun because there's not a whole lot to film, but this is a weekly vlog and this is what my life is like. So the two of us will see you later. It is 5.50 and I am still working on Etsy. <laughs> Today has been a very Etsy heavy day. I have a Skype meeting in 10 minutes at six and I am, I actually just, before I turn on the camera, sat down and watched YouTube videos for a half an hour or so because I just had I you just have to have a break it's like such focus is required to match the correct person with the correct order whatever anyway it and it's just been all day I've just been doing this like since the moment I woke up so I am needing a little break um, so I took a little break now I have a Skype meeting at 6 that should probably last about an hour and then I'm laying down <laughs> It's so funny because packaging Etsy orders in and of itself is not, it's like not difficult, you know, but it's a mental, it's something that is rhythmic but still mentally draining. You know what I mean? Like matching the correct garment size, style, color, and design to the correct person and then packaging it up and then weighing the package if there's more than one garment in it to make sure that I am covering the postage for it and then if the person's asked me any questions that I need to go respond to them and then other people are sending me questions like it's just it's none of it is like a super head scratcher it's just a lot of the same thing over and over and you start to get like a little bit glazed over especially since it's like 6 p.m. and I've been doing this literally since I woke up this morning so it's been a super productive day but I'm gonna be brain dead tomorrow I already know I'm gonna be brain dead tomorrow because um, it just sucks my energy just sitting on the floor and sorting and doing all that all day but I'm really thankful for it. I'm super thankful for the business I'm thankful it's going really well right now and um, yeah, I have no complaints, I'm just tired. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit down and get prepared to Skype and then after that, we're gonna have some dinner. Riley's helping Casey, our friend Casey, with moving a few things this evening and so he's not gonna be home until a little later anyway. And then my sister-in-law, Emily, comes over around eight. So Riley and I will try to grab a quick dinner. I already have a meal plan going so, and we have food in the fridge and in the pantry so it's not a big deal and then maybe we'll get to take a quick little walk before um before emily comes over but we'll see because i might not be able to do that my walk might be walking right into the bedroom to go to bed <laughs> all right i'll see you guys later if you're curious here is what my desk looks like when i'm getting ready to skype so I have all of my blogger mentorship program notes in this Erin Condren notebook. I love it. It keeps it all in one place. I used to use like legal pads and it was, it, it was just, I was always trying to track them down. So this keeps all of my notes for all of my mentees in one place. I have this lovely little framed, I don't know what you would call it, art print, I guess. It's from Laura Casey and it says for everything there is a season. And then in this little blue thing that I got from, it's a, little, it's a little bowl, I got it from Target. I have like washi tape, some um, chapstick, a couple of stamps, some paper clips, little things like that. 
Then I have my little ergonomic <laughs> wrist things that I use. <laughs> this is all on my young, on a young living box. My monitor is. This is my external hard drive. Um, these are gushy ergonomic things that I use for my wrists. They help since I have carpal tunnel issues. I've had this piece. I don't remember where this is from. I wish I could remember where it was from. I've had this since high school. Um, it is so old and I still just love it. I just think, I don't know. I just really love it. So it's a coaster. And then over here, I have this little basket and these are my wireless headphones. And then this is where I keep, I usually keep that notebook, the blogger mentorship program notebook in here as well. But this is where I keep things that need to be tended to. So um, one of my church friends is having a baby shower and so I need to remember to buy her a gift for that and then that's something else I need to attend to and then this is um you know just pens and pencils and scissors and then I usually have my phone over here and in case it's turned on silent when I'm skyping but I like to have it in case of an emergency if you know in case Riley would need to call me and then I need to go get my water I usually have my water right here and that is my little desk setup. I like it to be pretty cleaned up. So when this is put away, this is like, there's really nothing out. It's just nice and clean. I can't stand having a whole bunch of clutter. And then an extension of my desk I have um, on this bookshelf. I have a stapler and a tape dispenser and then my printer and then my postage scale is down there that I use. And then I keep ready to ship inventory on this shelf. And then I do all of my packaging and sorting on the floor. So there you go. Now it's time for me to go Skype. And when it's dark outside, I pull the lamp from our entryway table right there. And I just pull it around <laughs> and just stick it on my on my desk. I don't usually, I, I think it looks really pretty here, but I don't like having a lamp on my desk when I'm working because the the light like that or makes gives me a headache. But when I'm Skyping, I'm too, it's too dark. I look really, like I just look pitch black. So I put that up and it works out. It works out pretty well. And I also got a glass of water. So I am ready to go. It is eight o'clock, Riley just got home. I just got finished up, so we are gonna eat now. I made this avocado chicken caprese salad. So I grilled some chicken up. I made homemade balsamic vinaigrette with Dijon mustard and lemon and basil and stuff. And then these are little mozzarella pearls, um, avocado, tomato. This lighting is crazy. There we go. Um, there's chopped fresh basil in the middle and then just spring mix on the bottom. It looks delicious. I'm gonna toss it and we're gonna eat. Here it is all tossed and bowled up. We didn't even set the table. We're just both so hungry. We're just gonna eat. You hungry? Yeah, this is delicious. Hey guys, happy Thursday. I'm sitting on my living room floor because when am I not sitting on my living room floor? I just packaged up a small batch, I think like six Etsy orders that I'm gonna drive to the post office here in just a minute. I have a few more that I need to do this afternoon and I need to head over to Riley's studio. Um, whenever I have a really Etsy heavy week, I get a lot of comments about, you should do this, you should do that, you should do this, to whatever, like, it's going great. Like, we have, our, our shop is on a very smooth schedule, um, but this week I have a huge sale going, and the sale is mostly for ready to ship items, which I ship same day or next day. So if someone orders it, you know, I ship it right away, which is why I'm spending so much time packaging up items. Usually I do a much, just bigger batches. Um, maybe once or twice a week I'll do 20 or 30 orders instead of doing six orders, you know, whatever. So that's why. So don't worry about me. Etsy's going great. It's been really good. I'm not like completely overwhelmed or anything like that. This is just the nature of this particular week. Um, I am going to, like I said, I'm going to, I have a few more things up there that I need to photograph. There we go. And then I need to list those, and then I need to take those to the post office, and I need to go to the studio and sort what's come in. This is an Etsy, 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 Etsy week. Usually Etsy takes up maybe 50 or 60% of my time, and this week it's taken up about 80% of my work time. But it's all good. So I'm going to go get that taken care of, and I'll talk to you guys later. So I checked my P.O. box and Sue, who is the woman who sent me those adorable little lamb plushes last 
week, a couple weeks ago, um, that it just tickled me so much. I loved them. Sent me this package with these four items and gosh, they're just so kind. And she wrote um, that she knows that I love Disney and Christmas. And so she just wanted to send me a little box of joy of those two things. And it's funny because I had just that day said to Riley how much I missed Christmas time. Um, even though I'm such a spring and summer person, I just, Charlie, um, I just miss like the coziness of the fires and things. I already miss it. So this was, this came at such a sweet time, but she sent me, um, I don't have anything from LuLaRoe. I've heard good things about it. And so she sent me this with the little minis on it, which I just think is just so, so cute, super thoughtful. Um, and I like that it has kind of like these little sleeves. I feel like this would be super comfy with, um, leggings. So Thank you so much for that. And this is so cute. I love these. These are like the little Disney Tsum Tsums. Um, and y'all know I love Tervis tumblers. I absolutely love Tervis tumblers. And it's funny because we have a whole cabinet of Tervises, but a few of ours are starting to get worn out because we use them all day, all the time. Um, and this, I just love it. I think it's so cute. I'm debating on whether I'm going to put it in my little basket in my closet where I put I always like gather up things before a vacation so they feel more special. So this might be like a cruise thing. I'm gonna bring a big one, but this might be like my small coffee cruise thing. I don't know. Just because, you know, when you save something and then, you, do you know what I'm saying? Anybody else do that? You like save something specific for a vacation then it's more special and then when you get home you get to use it, but you know. And then she sent me this big mug. I love big mugs like this that says it's the most wonderful time of the year and a little joy travel one. So I'm gonna go put these in our Christmas storage and that's gonna be so fun to unpack this November when we're getting, we usually decorate for Christmas in late November. And when I get to pull these out and have some new little cups, um, so sweet. And this, I will get to use both of these things very soon. So, gosh, I just, I can't explain the feeling. Like, y'all don't, do not have to send me letters or you don't have to send me anything. But I appreciate this so much. Just so kind and thoughtful. So, Sue, thank you so much again for another lovely package. Um, it was, it just blew me away. It totally blew me away. So, thank you. For those of you who have been so thoughtful and have asked all about Charlie and how he's doing and um, after last week, I just appreciate it so much. He is doing great. He is back to his normal self, aren't you? That was a super scary moment for both of us, but we are doing A-OK -okay and I just appreciate all your thoughtful, sweet comments asking how he is because they meant a lot to me and it was somewhat comforting to hear from other people who have had to unfortunately go through the same thing. Um, I'm not sure exactly why that's comforting, just to know I'm not the only one <laughs> is comforting, so. He's doing great. Just looking out the window all day as normal. I'm gonna strike a pose again. <laughs> you totally did. So I'm sitting on the couch editing this vlog that you're currently watching because I wanted to see how much footage I had because <clears throat> I had plans. I'm, I'm gonna do a video probably next week at this point about how I meal plan. So I'm going to show how I do all my meal planning and that, how that translates into grocery shopping and how I do that saving time, saving money. We're obsessed with it. I've been doing the same system as far as meal planning is concerned for coming up on three years and it just works great. So I'm gonna do a video about that. So be on the lookout for that. I was gonna have that publish tomorrow, which is Friday, which is now I think I have 27 minutes of footage on this vlog. So I think I'm just gonna publish this vlog instead because I, I do not have the energy today <laughs> to, to film that and I'm a hot mess. It's just not over the weekend. I could maybe get that done. Um, so. Two weekly vlogs in one week. How about that? That's what that's what you're getting, I guess. If you're watching this, you already know. <laughs> oh man, I'm just such a mess. I'm just such a mess. Um, okay, so I'm sitting here and I'm literally giving myself anxiety because I feel like I'm immobile. Like, I'm just tired. My brain is tired and my body is tired, but it's 2.30 now and in the next hour, I need to go to the grocery store because we ran out of bread and I'm having someone over for dinner tonight and I need bread. 
so I have to need to go to the grocery store. I need to go to the post office. I need to go to Riley's studio. So I have three things to do in the next one hour. And then at the one hour mark, I will be getting on Skype for a one hour Skype meeting. And then immediately when I get off that, um, my friend from church, the one whose husband is in the military, who I talked about several vlogs ago, she's been coming over for dinner every single Thursday, which has been great. And so she is coming over right after I get off Skype. She usually gets out of class and gets here by probably 4.45 or 5. Um, so then we'll do that, and then I have Bible study tonight. Tomorrow I'm sitting on my butt. Actually, that's probably not true. Tomorrow I have a lot more Etsy stuff to do. <laughs> this weekend... This weekend, I'm gonna eat good food and I'm gonna sleep. Oh, buddy. Oh, that's a reminder that I only have one hour. Okay, I've gotta go, but I'm just sitting here. Have you ever done this? Where like you're just so worn out that you're just sitting and like, I'm wasting time right now, but I'm choosing to do that. Why do we do these things to ourselves? <laughs> it's time to get up. All right, let's go. Update on my Birkenstocks while I get myself out going out the door. Um, I have had them for two weeks now. They are so great. They have completely been broken in. Um, well, maybe not completely. They're probably like 80% broken in. Let me get a treat for Charlie. And I absolutely love them. So I will link the ones that I have below. Here's what they look like. Sorry, Charlie. He sees this treat. He's like, what are you doing? Um, so I do recommend them and everything that all those things online said is true that if you just keep wearing them they will get broken in and they are genuinely one of the most comfortable pairs of shoes that I own. Here's another comfortable pair of shoes that I own. <laughs> Alright, I am out the door. First stop, grocery store. Next stop, the post office is underway. I'm heading in now. I need to clean my windshield. And now I am at Riley's studio and I'm almost finished and it's only 2.57. Check this out, not even 30 minutes and I'm done. That is what a small town is good for. You can get things done so fast. <laughs> Hello, I'm back from my crazy errand run. Woo, it's bright, there we go. Um, I got everything done, it's 3.15 now and I've been home for a few minutes so that was speedy quick. Two things I'm gonna sign off from this vlog right now, but two quick things. The first thing is, genuinely and seriously, are vlogs like this boring? So, I don't mean weekly vlogs because some people just don't enjoy watching weekly vlogs or just general like day in the lifestyle things. I absolutely love them. I know some of you absolutely love them, so that's not my question. My question is, on weeks like this week that I've had where I am spending most of my time packaging Etsy and it's nothing interesting to show you so I just feel like I'm checking in every few hours saying I'm still packaging Etsy like I've thought probably five times this week that I should just scrap this vlog and just wait until I have more interesting things going on but I'm like well I'm already a few days and I'll just wrap it up so let me know like if I have a week like this where it's just super Etsy heavy or it's super computer work heavy and it's not that interesting and I'm kind of just doing the same thing would it be is it do you still want to see it or would it be better if I just waited until I had more interesting stuff? Because I don't want to waste time filming, editing, and uploading if you're like, okay, this is boring because you're just talking, it's just you talking to the camera about how you're working. Like, who cares? So if you are, if you don't like weekly vlogs, this question isn't really for you because some people just don't like them. But if you do like weekly vlogs, is this kind of weekly vlog okay? Do you like it? What are your thoughts on it? Let me know. Second thing is that since this video is going up a few days ahead of time, um, my Etsy sale is still going on, which is crazy. So this video will be going up on Friday, which is tomorrow when I'm filming this, and my Etsy sale is 20% off your entire order. It's the last sale this spring, and the code that you need to use at checkout for 20% off your entire order is SPRING20, SPRING20, and um, there's a link, as always, to my Etsy shop below. So you can go check that out. I have a whole bunch of Disney designs, but then I have designs that are not Disney as well if you just want some summer tees or tanks or whatever. And then also um, the ready to ship section in my Etsy shop right now is 20% off with spring 20 and also free shipping. So those most of my stuff will be $20 shipped from the ready to ship section. So if And then those things ship either today, like same day or next day. Um, so if you order them today on Friday, they'll ship today or the next business day. 
so Monday. Um, so they will ship very, very quickly. So don't miss it. This sale ends this coming Saturday. So the, if you're watching this the day it comes out, this ends tomorrow. So if you want to take advantage, take advantage. Anyway, I really appreciate you following along. Let me know whether this kind of vlog is appealing to you or whether you'd, like I said, rather me just wait until I have more interesting things to share. Either way, I really appreciate you watching this particular vlog. I would love a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment. What have you been up to? How's your week been? What's going on in your neck of the woods? You know I love to hear from you. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.